Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video segment, we're going to talk about setting up a new Twitter account. Twitter is a social networking site that allows educators from around the globe to network and share and to exchange ideas. But to be able to be an active participant, you must have a Twitter account. So if you'll go to the website, twitter.com, you'll open up and see this web page. If you already have an account, you'll log in at the top part of the screen. But if you're new to Twitter, you'll need to set up an account. And I'm going to use uh, Pam Buckley. I already have an account, so I'm going to use Pam and uh, set an account up for her. So I'm going to top in her full name. Mine would be Debbie Boyer. We'll put in Pam Buckley here. And then Pam's email. I used my Gmail account and not my Canyon ISD account. That's up to you. I'm going to top in a password for Pam. And you'll want that password to be somewhat protective with some numbers and some capital letters in there, uppercase. And then go ahead and top in sign up for Twitter. When it opens up, it's going to give me Pam's full name, her email address, and her uh, password. It has made a suggestion for the username, and no one else on Twitter has the name Pam Buckley, and so you can see that that is available. If you want to type in something specific and you want to um, try different things, it'll tell you whether what your username uh, you're using will be available or not, so that will change there. But it also gives you an opportunity to say, keep me signed in on this computer, which I'm going to ch check off. And then it says, Taylor tweet base on my recent website visits, and I'm going to turn that off as well. Then when I get ready, there is a click the button below to agree to this, the terms of use. You can read the terms of use over here if you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and click on create my account for Pam. When that opens up, it's going to give uh, her area here, and it makes you get started with 60 seconds, and it will also make you choose 10 or 5 different people, I think, to follow. So we're going to go ahead and say next, and I could choose any of these celebrities or any of these people, but I have to start by following 5. So I'm going to say uh, that Pam is going to follow Debbie Boyer 5, which is me. And when we do a search for that, you can see Debbie Boyer here, and I'm going to go ahead and have her follow Debbie. And then I'm going to have her follow uh, Justin Richardson. And there might be several there for Justin. And so I know that I can also search by Teach Forward. It's kind of his login. So we're going to let her follow Justin. And then she might also want to follow Canyon ISD. You could follow your campuses, but you have to choose five just to get started. And we're going to choose Teaching Channel. I love theirs. That makes four. And then one more is We Are Teachers. But you can search for other people. You can search for your campuses, but you have to start with five. And when we have five, it tells us that's great, and we're going to go ahead and go to Next. And then it says, Find and Follow Well-Known People. Try five more. Um, so we can, can skip that, or we can try some for her to follow. And I'm going to do TCEA. This is a great one to follow. And uh, um, John Gordon is an author that I follow. He wrote the one word book that I like so much. And we'll do um, TED Talks. And then one other one uh, could be The Pioneer Woman. I know all you gentlemen out there want to follow all of her recipes and different things. And then when I have that set up, I have one more to go, and I'll have 10 people that I'm following. And I really love the Tech Ninja, Tech Ninja Todd. And when I've got that going, it's actually Todd Nesloni. And I now have 10 people, 
that I'm following and I can say next. So you can follow those and unfollow them later if you'd like, if you don't want to follow those. I am not going to choose um, to search by contacts for Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, so I'm going to skip that. And you might be able to skip the second five people, but um, got that going. And then when I'm ready, I have the people that I'm following, and I'm going to upload an image. So when I go to upload the image, I have a picture of Pam on my desktop, and I'm just going to pull that in. And it won't load until I click on Save. And then we're going to add a little bio for uh, Pam, and we're going to say loves family dogs, books, and Pam can go in and edit that later. And then when I click on Done, it's going to have Pam's account set up with Pam's picture in. It shows that she's following 10 people. Right now she's not made any tweets, and no one as of this moment is following Pam. There is a place that you will need to confirm that the uh, email is actually a true email and not a computer. And so Pam will need to go over to her MSN email and log in and say, confirm that I'm a Twitter account and have that set up. So you can see that it's very easy to do and very easy to set up. If we wanted to, she can go in and edit her profile at any time. And right under the clog on the top left-hand side are settings and help. So for Pam, we're going to click on that clog and go down to settings and there's some things that you might want to do when you're setting up your account. One of the things is to look at the account and it does say central time, it does say English as the primary language and then you can, can look through and see if there's any settings that you want to make. When we get ready for setting and privacy, there are some things uh, that you can choose in here to uh, set and, and do, so you might look through those. And then there is a place for password, mobile, email notifications, and you might want to look at email notifications. And it will ask you, do you want to receive an email anytime your tweets are favored? Uh, you can say uh, tailored to you or by anyone. So it, it's up to you. So I've set all of mine to be any anyone or you can take that off and not have any emails come to you at all. So anytime the tweets I'm mentioned in are marked as favorite, favorites, I would set by anyone. So if anyone tweets mine or retweets, then I'll get an email. But really, you do not have to receive emails at all. You can go in and set that to no emails if you don't want those coming into your email box. When you have it all set just like you want it, you'll go ahead and click on Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. When I'm looking at the profile, we looked at that earlier, we can look at the design, and the design is the area that is going around. These are blue clouds that Pam's account has, but I could actually go in and choose a different uh, layout for her if we wanted to, or we can just leave it at the clouds. And when we have that just like we want it, then we'll be ready to uh, save the changes and, and save that. One of the things that you might want to look at, too, is the part behind the picture. And if you wanted to customize a heading, you can do that as well uh, with custom settings. So when we save those changes, we will then have uh, it ready to go, except that Pam will need to verify and confirm that she has an account. And she might not see anyone following her. It might take 24 hours for the account to really be live and active. But that will get you started and have you set up with an account. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. The second video will actually be how to send tweets and set hashtags. And so if you want to see more about Twitter, look for the second video. Hope you have a great day.